What is evaluation? Evaluation is the most difficult skill to show. It's the highest level skill on the skills hierarchy. And if you want to get 25 marks on your essay, which obviously is everyone's aim, then this is the skill that you really need to understand and be able to show. So what is evaluation about? Evaluation is about bringing in the wider context, looking at the bigger, bigger picture and seeing how variables interact in quite a large setting. It's not as simple as looking at linear relationships. If price rises, demand falls. That's a very linear relationship. It's about thinking, will that relationship always hold given other variables in the wider context? So is it always the case that when price rises, demand falls? Or might there be other things in that situation which will influence that event? And that's what evaluation is about. It's about bringing in those other situations, those other variables to interrogate that law. And obviously we can apply that to any law in economics so we can evaluate anything that we deem fit. And so whatever essay you're asked to do, you can always evaluate. Whatever point you make, you can always evaluate it. It's also about showing you appreciate pros and cons, positives of arguments and negatives of arguments. That's very important and that's very important evaluation. And it's about thinking about what will happen given other variables in the equation. And as I said earlier, you know, simple linear relationships that we have, simple laws that we have in place in economics may not hold if we drop the Ceteris Paribus clause and start looking at other variables. What I mean by Ceteris Paribus is if you drop the fact that all other things within the economy are held equal, that law may not hold. So if price rises, demand falls, that law might not hold if other variables interact. So I've given in a little example here. Again, um, this example can be found on our website, econsolutions.co.uk. You can download the whole essay that this has come from, from our essay um, page. So just go to that if you wanna see the whole essay and you'll find it there. And I'm just gonna go through this. The best option for consumers is to vastly improve the rail network so as to entice motorists away from road travel with a faster and more reliable train service. However, key term when evaluating. So this point that I'm making here is I've done a 25 mark essay and now I'm evaluating one of the points that I put across in that essay, which that improving the rail network was the best way to get motorists away from using the road. But I'm gonna throw in a however here the key analytical phrase really. However, there are other variables in play or other situations which need appreciation or other sides of the argument or pros or cons to this point or a wider context which needs appreciation. So this is my point. The best option is to improve the rail network. But there are other variables, there's other sides of the argument, there's pros and cons to this, and there's a wider context to consider. So I'm gonna consider a few of these things in my evaluation here. So however, this would require a large subsidy from the government, which may be difficult to achieve. Again, appreciating that it's not as simple as getting a large subsidy. This might be difficult to achieve, given the money may, may need to come from elsewhere, a con, and that governments are currently running large budget deficits. The wider context, looking at the bigger picture. Really good example of evaluation. Nevertheless, another key evaluative phrase. The government could potentially raise money with an extra fuel tax, considering another argument, and use this to invest in the rail network so that in the future, more people consider rail as a genuine alternative for their commute to work. So here I have looked at the wider context, other sides of the argument, and other variables in play, pulled a few of those together to create a very quick and simple evaluation, which will lead me towards getting 25 marks in the exam. And that's what evaluation is about.
Here I've just put together some useful evaluative phrases for you to use. Uh, you can see them here and they're just useful ways to indicate to the examiner that you are now evaluating. So if you start a sentence with however, the examiner is likely to put an E in the margin to signify evaluation as they're now aware that you are evaluating. And that goes for each one of these phrases here. Um, they're good ways to bring in other variables or to appreciate other points of view. So use these phrases in your paragraphs and they'll signify to the examiner that you are evaluating.